Hey everyone, so I'm going to give you a video about how to do better in stressful situations. So stuff such as exams, tests, job interviews, because everyone is going to go through them eventually in life. And if you have been through some of these things, you know that you can get stressed, stressed. And when you get stressed, you say, or you write silly stuff. So I have a trick for you on how you can perform better in these situations. So your brain under stress, let's go on the science behind it. When you are under stress, you release cortisol, your body releases cortisol and the adrenaline levels go up. Okay. So what is the consequence of that? Some of the systems that you have will shut down and some of these systems includes the ones that are responsible for your rational and logical thinking. So that means that your thinking goes cloudy and you are unaware that you cannot think straight. So you are prone to make mistakes and to make critical mistakes um, and you are not even aware that you are in that situation. So maybe if you think about it, sometimes you look at a test or an exam and you read your answer and just wonder... How did I do something so stupid? Why did I say so? Why did I answer that question that way? And you regret, regret about it, right? So this is because under stress, you cannot make the decisions, the better decisions that you would have done if your brain wouldn't be under stress. So how can you prepare for these situations? How can you, knowing that you're going to have a test, an exam or job interview, prepare to do better in these situations? So see it as a science experiment. When you're doing a science experiment, you make a risk assessment beforehand, right? So that's the same. So let's just look at some situations. Imagine that you are always losing your keys or remote control at home. What can you do to prevent that situation? You kind of designate a spot at home where you can place them. And every time you're like, oh, my keys or where's my remote, you automatically go to that place because Sometimes you, without thinking about it, you just put the keys or the remote control there. So that's your way to manage the stress or the stress or to prevent the stressful in, uh, situation by making a risk assessment. Imagine that you're going to travel on holidays. You may want to take a picture of your passport, credit card as a prevention in case something gets lost or stolen, and then you can quickly replace them or cancel them, right? So the same with tests or exams or job interviews. You can go and because you're thinking ahead that you're going to have a stressful situation, you can prepare for the worst. What could be the worst in a test, in an exam or in a job interview? probably to have a question that you don't know the answer or that you don't know how to answer. So imagine an exam situation. So imagine that you really aren't good at uh, conservation of momentum and you're like, okay, I hope that in the test or exam or whatever, there are no conservation of momentum questions. And then you go, you open your test and suddenly there is a conservation of momentum question. You get stressed straight away. And because you get stressed, you cannot think straight and then the rest of the test is going to be a mess even if you knew that topic the other topics well because you're stressed so your thinking went cloudy so what can you do maybe you can think okay i'm not good at conservation of momentum so let's get better at it and then once you're good at it you're like okay i'm not that scared anymore if you show up shows up in the test i'm not going to freak out so i'm going to be all right all right what is the next question the worst thing that can happen to me now that i know conservation of momentum and then you're like all right the center of mass so i'm now going to study center of mass really well the same with job interviews so some people uh, find uh, you can go on online on the internet and you can find the most difficult questions in job interviews that people felt that they were asked. And you can think about those answers beforehand because if you thought about that answer beforehand, your job interview, and then if you get asked about it, you are not going to be so stressed and so lost about what you can do or what you can answer because you already know beforehand what you want to say in that question. You already know the answer you want to give. You practice that at home. So you're not going to sound silly or dumb or um, looking at the interviewers with a face like, oh, that was really unexpected. So do the same. Think what would be the worst thing, the most difficult question that they could ask me and then prepare for that, okay? So in summary, how can you prevent a stressful situation to make you do a critical mistake? So recognize that you are not at your best under stress. 
and make a rational assessment of the facts prior to the situation. And of course, sometimes there are stressful situations that come up without a warning. So I'm saying this works whenever is possible. So whenever you know beforehand that you're going to face a stressful situation, as I said, tests, exams, job interviews. And then what can you do? You make your rational assessment. It's all about prevention and thinking ahead. And by doing so, you really increase your chances of doing well in a stressful situation. So this is the video about how you can uh, perform better in these situations. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, do let me know. Um, You can send me just a message. I will be still putting some videos in terms of physics and science, in terms of material for you guys to study. I also want to do more news in physics and, of course, my riddles and solutions, okay? So I hope you enjoyed the first video of many that are going to come around. And up to my next video. Be happy and healthy. Bye!